Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this video, we will cover few examples based on the final value theorem of the Laplace transform. So in this question, we have been given the Laplace transform of the sum function f of t. And here, we have been asked to find the value of this function at time t is equal to infinity. So here, since we do not know the function f of t in the time domain, so we will find the value of this function at time t is equal to infinity using the final value theorem. So as per the final value theorem, limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s times f of s. And here this f of s is equal to k divided by s plus 1 times s square plus 4. So if you recall, then this final value theorem is applicable when all the poles of the function s times f s is on the left half of the s plane. So for the given function, the one pole is when the s is equal to minus 1 and the remaining two poles are plus minus 2j. So this one pole is equal to 2j while the another pole is equal to minus 2j. So for this function, the two poles are on the imaginary axis and therefore we cannot apply the final value theorem for the given function. Similarly, Suppose if we have this function, which is the Laplace transform of the function sin omega t, then for the sin omega t also, we cannot apply the final value theorem. Because for this function also, the two poles are at the plus minus j omega. That means we can apply the final value theorem when this condition gets satisfied. And since it is not satisfied for the given function, so we can say that the value of this function at time t is equal to infinity is undefined. And therefore, for the given question, this D is the correct answer. So similarly, in the second question, we have been given the Laplace transform of the time domain function y of t. That is equal to 1 divided by s times s minus 1. And for this function also, we have been asked to find the final value. That is the value at time t is equal to infinity. So once again, as per the final value theorem, limit t tends to infinity, y of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s times y of s and here this y of s is equal to 1 divided by s times s minus 1. So here these two terms will get cancel out. That means this s times y of s is equal to 1 divided by s minus 1. So once again we need to check whether this function s times y of s satisfies the final value theorem condition or not. And as you know as per this condition all the poles of the function s times y of s should be on the left half of the s plane. But here if you see, then the one pole is at s is equal to plus 1, that is over here. And since it is on the right hand side of the s plane, so we cannot apply the final value theorem. That means for the given function also, from its Laplace transform, we cannot find its final value. And therefore, we can say that for the given question, this d is the correct answer. So now, let us move to the next question. So in this question, we have been given the Laplace transform of the function f of t and we have been given that as the limit t tends to infinity, then the value of this function f of t is equal to 1. So here, we have been asked to find the value of this constant k. So once again, using the final value theorem, we can find the value of this k. So here, we have been given that this is the Laplace transform of the function f of t. So as per the final value theorem, the value of this function f of t at time t is equal to infinity can be given as limit s tends to 0 s times f of s. And here this f of s can be given by this expression. So in this expression if you see, then in the denominator we can take this as outside. And if we further simplify it, then we can write it as limit s tends to 0 3s plus 1 divided by s square plus 4s plus k minus 3. So now in this expression, as the limit s tends to 0, then these three terms will get 0. And we will get this 1 divided by k minus 3. So that is the value of this function at time t is equal to infinity. So here we have been given that as the limit t tends to infinity, then this f of t is equal to 1. And therefore, this value should also be equal to 1. So we can say that this k minus 3 is equal to 1 and therefore the value of this constant k is equal to 4. So from this we can say that 
for the given question this b is the correct answer